and we're back with Richard Reviews. Today we're doing a book review, and the book is Command and Control by Eric Schlossler. This is a book about the nuclear weapons, the Damascus accident, and the illusion of safety from Americans, Koreans, and Russians. How the illusion of safety has divided us between knowing what is real and what is not is covered in this book. The book shows how a lot of obstacles and illusions show us that having nuclear weapons around us is not as safe as we would like to imagine. And it also illustrates the close calls we've had as a nation. As for the piece itself, Richard adores this piece. This is a hands-up piece. Uh, he loves it. It's a soft cover, nice text, nice and firm. It's a thick magnet, as you can see, nice and crisp. The page count, uh, officially from Richard, um, as we can see, is, it says here it's a 450. We'll give it a 475 count. That's the official count from Richard. Uh, the book itself is designed very fluidly. It may appear to be in rather bad condition, but that is just the design of the book, as you can see. Uh, the price is $18. Richard paid a whopping $4.92 and was very pleased with the book. This book deeply, deeply covered all aspects of nuclear weapons and the close and famous Damascus accident. In fact, there are a few chapters devoted to the Damascus accident itself, which is really amazing because it's a very overlooked accident, and Richard himself is very fascinated by it. This is a pristine book, clean work, as you can see bendable and nice piece. The piece is nice, everything fits well, and of course uh, it's, 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 a, it's a nice piece. Richard rates this a 5.4 out of 10. That is the official Richard review. Um, we'll be back next Tuesday to formulate more book reviews for Richard as he delves into more and more of what is covered in today's society. Now, that is all we have for today's book review. Please catch us next time on Tuesday, every fourth Tuesday of the month, of the months beginning with S. Uh, thank you, that's Richard Reviews, and